Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better, uh, Where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh! You're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Are you ready for a picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into tan and speakeasy... And if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Hey, don't walk off with the recording plant. It's the only one I got. Oh, hello, Schmirnoff. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. Try it out. I don't think so. The electro pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Nah, it's just a model. Now, can you please leave me alone? Are you ready for a picture radio? Hi, Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you for? Artie told me how you managed to get your old job back. He did? But it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. Uh, he didn't tell you anything. Come on, Trixie. I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. Their own business, does she? Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? Uh, I wish there was, but I'm just a mu- All you can do is inspire people. Okay, you're a muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. But you can't! Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see, eight kilobeats past fifty. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. 
You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, uncle or something? Or something. So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? Aw, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Thanks. Happy to help. Well, speak of the devil. Danny, can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of quiet. What's this about? Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters don't blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. Did you see? Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know! I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Well, the Ladies' Decency Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Have you seen Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. I know your deep, dark secret. Secret? What secret? Pretending like you wanted to put Kid Tannen away when all the time you were working for him. Oh, how preposterous. I know your deep, dark secret. You know, what you were whispering about with Carl Sagan yesterday. You overheard? Sure I did. And you did a really lousy job at, uh... Burying the body. Oh, you didn't hear a thing. What I was talking about with Carl Sagan is between me and Carl Sagan. Why'd you go and get Emmett's invention sealed up like that? I had no choice. Once Mr. Sagan told me about your attempts to radicalize my poor Emmett, I knew I had to stop him from going through with your dangerous invention. But it's his invention, and it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe it's a little dangerous, but only to him. That's for the authorities to decide. Any chance you could talk Parker into letting Emmett go ahead with his demonstration? None whatsoever. And as long as I'm here, that contraption of yours is grounded. Why are you still involved in Emmett's life? I thought you broke up with him. I did, but then your friend Mr. Sagan told me about your scheme to interfere with our romance. Not a very nice thing to do, Comrade Shmirnov. You don't really think Emmett's gonna want you back after you crushed his heart and tried to stop his demonstration at the expo, do you? Not at first, no. But eventually he'll realize I've got his best interests at heart, and he'll come running back to me like one of those dogs he loves so much. But you hate dogs. Yes, ironic, isn't it? What'd you do with Emmett, Edna? What are you talking about? You're the one who's trying to ruin his life. Believe it or not, I'm the one trying to save it. From what? From you, mostly. You really don't know where Emmett is? I haven't the foggiest. If he's smart, he's run far away from whatever dangerous shenanigans you talked him into perpetrating today. Shenanigans? Any chance you could talk Parker into letting Emmett go ahead with his demonstration? None whatsoever. And as long as I'm here, that contraption of yours is grounded. I know your deep, dark secret. You're ruthless, manipulative, and power-hungry. 
In the service of a higher cause, one sometimes has to stoop to low tactics. But I'm sure you already know that, Comrade Yakov. I know your deep, dark secret. Those charities you were working for, they were all just a front. Uh, so you could wriggle your way into those orphanages and... And steal their piggy banks. Right. Okay, this is pointless. I've got to find Emmett. Stay away from him, you anarchist hooligan. Act casual. He's coming back. Hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? Comrade Shmirnov, come to turn yourself in? In private? With pleasure. You haven't seen Carl Sagan around here, have you? Nah. Isn't he still a wanted man? Nah. All those arson charges got dropped weeks ago. Judge Brown said there wasn't enough evidence for a trial. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? I saw her whispering about something with Carl Sagan outside the expo yesterday. Do you know what they were whispering about? No, but she looked really guilty. I need something more solid than that, I'm afraid. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? She sent this, uh, this goon to beat up my dad and steal his videotape. That's awful. What's a videotape? Uh, never mind. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? She kidnapped a friend of mine and she tried to erase his brain. That's terrible. Now when did this happen? In, uh, the future. Stick to the facts, kid. I have enough people come to me with cock and bull stories. Since when does anyone in Hill Valley listen to what Edna has to say? Ever since she helped take down Kid Tannen, she's had the mayor and the city council eating out of her hand. I'd be an idiot to ignore her, especially with my, uh, alcohol-heavy background. Boy, I wish I could catch her jaywalking or something. I'd throw the book at her. Yeah, but you never catch a dame like that breaking the law, darn it. Any idea where Emmett is? Well, he was working over by his booth. But by the time Edna got done haranguing me, he was gone. I hope he comes back soon so we can get this mess cleared up. What's a newly promoted detective like you doing hanging out in a science expo anyway? Are you kidding me? This is a great assignment! I get to sit around all day playing with nifty new crime-fighting gadgets, like this! What does that do? Hell if I know! Any sign of Emmett? Nope. Aren't you worried? Nah, he's probably just walking around the floor someplace. If you find him, bring him over here and we'll get this all worked out. You've got to let Emmett demonstrate his invention. His whole future depends on it. I'd love to, kid, but Miss Strickland thinks it's dangerous. Unless you've got something on her, her word is pretty much law. Thanks. I'll be back. Oh, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Hi, Trixie. Now what can I do you for? Thanks. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea most enlightening.
Heavy. Monsieur has a way with words. Emmett, where are you? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Mere gratification is just always a push of a button away. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. Chinese checkers and everything. A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Hang up. Conversation terminated. Greetings again, mortals! This is Techni, news of progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. Wax. Okay, call me a snoop. Like 4385. Brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. 
I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. Thanks. Bye. Farewell. Conversation terminated. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Checkney News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? This is Anthony. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Klozoff. Klozoff? Yes, first name Oliver. Oliver Klozoff? Listen, kid, I didn't just fall off the poutine truck. Who is this really? Hang up. Conversation terminated. privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, Tech Me speaking. Who's this? Hey, Trixie, it's me, Harry. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. Conversation terminated. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. House of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? It's Kid Tannen. I'm out of jail and I want you back, baby. I don't know who you are or why you're doing that horrible impersonation of Kid, but that part of my life is over. I've gone legit. Conversation terminated. Good for you, Trixie. I wonder if Edna would spill any secrets in a... In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Could you get Emmett for me? Oh, I would, Mr. Sagan, but I can't see the kid nowhere. In fact, the last time I saw him, he was with you. Oh, yes, uh, right. Hang up. Conversation terminated. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. 
Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. W wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. About that plan. I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him? You lost him? You were supposed to keep him distracted. Oh, I have been. He's just uh, wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands full with Parker. Well, we should probably get back to the plan. Yes, we should. Goodbye, Mr. Sagan. Goodbye. Hang up. Conversation terminated. Conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Can you get Edna on the phone for me again? You got it, Mr. Sagan! Hey, your highness! Mr. Sagan, you really have to stop calling me like this. I've got to keep all of my attention on Detective Parker. Yes, yes, of course. I've just got a couple more questions. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that! As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him, exactly? You know, it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh... That was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away, and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to the world. And the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in Pond Scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot! I don't even like algae cakes, but free samples are free samples. I believe I have unlocked the secrets of this noble vegetable, and I am here to present my discoveries to a disbelieving world. Algae cakes, ladies and gentlemen, is the next wave in the agricultural revolution. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Your gratification is just always a push of a button away. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. 
Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? It's me, Carl. Oh, hi, Mr. Sagan. What can I do for you? Never mind. I'll go get Strickland. What is it now, Mr. Sagan? I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my poll with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Oh yes, he's a very distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. There's been a change of plan. What? Yes, I've changed my mind. I think we should let Emmett go through with his demonstration. Smirnoff was a foreign agitator. That the only way I could get Emmett back would be to scoop him up after his dreams were shattered and... and yes, and... yes, yes. I said a lot of things, but I was a little crazy at the time. The important thing is, now I think you should let Emmett go ahead with his little demonstration. Oh, I get it. What? It's Comrade Smirnoff, isn't it? He's gotten to you. No! I really want Emmett to go ahead with his demo. Don't worry, Carl. You can count on me. Edna, listen to me. You have to let Emmett go through with his demonstration. Isn't he? Oh, listen! Listen, Smirnoff. I don't know what you're holding over Mr. Sagan, but there's no way I'm ever letting that contraption you've talked my Emmett into building get off the ground. <gasps> Why are you saying all those terrible things about Emmett's friend? Young comrade Smirnoff? You were the one who told me about his vile deeds. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women, flaunting their depravity to the world, and the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking, rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Uh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very... interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon! A lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. Shh, he's approaching. Hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? I thought you'd never ask. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? Edna's the speakeasy arsonist. That's an interesting theory. It's the truth! I heard her confess. Well, I didn't hear it, so I'm afraid it's your word against hers. And no offense, but her word carries a little more weight around here than yours does. Thanks. I'll be back. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Oh. Oh, 
and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so beautiful. The alcohol made them go up in such pretty blue flames. Hello, Schmirnoff. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? We're busy trying to protect the Expo from the likes of you. Our plant recorder! It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Shh, listen. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. D Detective Parker, surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? You know, one of these days I should really stop falling for that. Hey, does this mean that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's take that as a yes. Emmett's got to be around here somewhere. Now that I've recorded Edna's confession, I don't want to risk erasing it. Now that I've recorded Edna's confession, I don't want to risk erasing it. Greetings, forward thinkers of Hill. Nah. Mr. Duto? Oui? I'm looking for a friend of mine, Emmett Brown. Tall young guy, reddish brown hair. A distracted look? That's him. Any idea where he went? He just passed by here with an older gentleman. I think they were headed into the house of glass. Great, thanks. Convention special! Two free algae cakes, whatever- How about an algae cake? One algae cake coming right ahead. Hey, wait a minute. It's you! Forget it, mister. Hey! Emmett! Come out of there! Don't listen to him! Perfect. Welcome to the Atlas House of Glass, the future of domestic life. Okay, Emmett, let's get you out of here. Emmett! Emmett, don't listen to him! He's crazy! I'm still not sure about this business proposal, Mr. Sagan. Let me explain it again. Atlas Glass, unbreakable and soundproof. Soundproof glass, great. Our living space can be to meet the needs of any family. Need a private study? Simply slide the walls in, or slide them out again to create a spacious banquet hall.
Damn it. Now, where'd you take him now, Doc? The next exhibitor on our list is Officer Danny Parker of the Hill Valley Police Force. Officer Parker is going to demonstrate a few of the many marvelous tools that our boys in blue will soon have at their disposal. The criminal element has truly met his match today. Officer Parker? Uh, it seems our next exhibitor is unavoidably detained. But I'm sure his presentation would have been both enlightening and exciting. Um, how about a round of applause just for the heck of it? Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. I just left not a minute ago. If you hurry, you might catch them. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology. But I fail to understand what you're... Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with Stop! Emma? Stop! Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors! You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boy's obviously, uh, confused. I'll say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jacques Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. It's... Please, keep it down. The Expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Professor Duteau, huh? At your service. Hmm. What have you done with the real Professor Duteau? I'm not sure I like your insinuations. I'm not sure I like you kidnapping Emmett. Perhaps I should call the authorities and have you removed from the hall. You're a cold-blooded guy, Duteau. Say la vie. Take off your helmet. I prefer to leave it on. The inland air is difficult on my sinuses. Hmm. Where'd you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> Take a ride in a bathosphere. Your bathosphere. I'd like to see the inside of it. Can't get in without a ticket, I'm afraid. You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Mm -hmm. Hey, Artie. Is there any way you can delay Emmett's demo? He ran into some last-minute turbulence. Emmett's already pushed his luck by substituting this electrokinetic whatsis for the mental alignment meter he was supposed to be showing. I can't alter his place on the roster, too. The board would get the idea I was showing favoritism. You sure you can't just push Emmett's slot back a little? I could eliminate it altogether. Would that work for you? What? I was just remembering a time when you refused to take me to the zoo. Huh? Nothing. That's Carl Sagan in the deep sea diving suit, and he's holding Emmett captive in the bathosphere. You're making a pretty serious allegation, mister. I'll have to look into it. Right after the show. You sure you can't just push Emmett's slot back a little? I could eliminate it altogether. Would that work for you? You've got to go unmask that deep-sea diver right now. It's a matter of federal importance. 
Invoking your authority as a G-Man? Yeah, you don't want to go against Uncle Sam. You're right, I don't. But... This is awkward, Sonny. Edna Strickland's been going around telling people you're not who you say you are. That you're some kind of agitator. You'd believe her over me? Ha! Uh, I don't wanna, but... I believe right now, and I don't want to risk creating a disturbance at the expo. Can't we just wait till after the show? If Emmett misses his demo, I'm holding you responsible. Fair enough. See you around. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. Hey, Artie. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure. That's a P ticket. Well, the guy at the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm. There must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I'm only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder. And I will raise the path of sphere. Dude, what is the matter? The gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the path of sphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes. Yeah. It is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Come down, please. Step back! You're cripping the hose! What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? It's very bad form. Oh, sorry. Hiya, folks. It's me, Techni, Muse of Progress, gracing you once again with my presence. And speaking of presents, what better gift could Hill Valley offer the world than this magnificent science and technology exhibit, hey, folks? If you haven't done so already, I urge each and every one of you to take a peek at Furnishings of the Future, right here in our main hall. Tickets are available from me, Techni, at our information desk. It's an old nautical superstition. A crimped horse means imminent doom. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. Uh, there's not. I demand you uncrimp that hose! Funny, you'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. I... I don't know wh what you're talking about! It's as if you two were connected somehow. Step off the hose! Raise the bathosphere, Doc. I won't do it! Then neither will I. So the lords, the years, they have become unstuck. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Get you out of there. Huh? Emmett Brown? Then it was true. Hey, you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. I think he took his wallet. 
Oh, remind me not to become an oceanographer. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before... Funny thing is, I don't even remember going in there. Last thing I recall, I was in the glass house talking to Carl Sagan. Did you know he's really a scientist? I'd heard. What did he say to you? Oh, he had some sort of spur-of-the-moment business proposition. It was all very rush-rush, I never got... It would have meant leaving before the expo was over, so I told him that... Say, where'd he go? Do you know? Carl Sagan? He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. Oh, I know how that is. Greetings and salutations to all our honored guests. I am Techni, Muse of Progress. And it is my pleasant task once again to highlight one of the great minds who was hard at work building a better tomorrow. I think that's me! I'm next on the roster! But are you ready? No, I don't have a choice. Did you bring the static accumulator? Oh, right. Here you go. Great! Come on, let's get up there! And who knows? One of this kid's gizmos just might take off and change the life of everybody in town. Could it be the very thing he's brought to share with us today? That ought to do it. Are the block bearings all in the raised position? Block bearings, block bearings. Raised position, check. Then it looks like all systems are good. Wish me luck. I don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Emmett Brown. Objection! Objection, Your Honor! I hereby demand that the scientific demonstration of one Emmett Lethra Brown be terminated and forfeit by reason of insanity. I declare him to be in contempt of me, his father. Where is he? Hand him over this instant. <clears throat> you don't think you can shelter him? Come on, Mr. Uh, Judge, sir. You're kind of making a scene here. Wrong. I am stopping my son from making a scene here. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything... So he is up there with you. Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second. Fear! I want to speak to my son! Emmett's not ready to talk to you, uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose you're his mouthpiece? I guess so, yeah. Can't you two have it out later? You mean after he's gone through with this ridiculous stunt? Yeah. No! If I can say so, sir, the problem is, is you're coming on too strong. You intimidate him. I don't intimidate him enough. That's the problem. You can't talk him out of it. His mind is made up. So, if talking won't work, there's always threshing. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. I'm counting to fourth. Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes. A judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes. A judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. So, what's your plan? 
I just stand here like this indefinitely. After a few centuries, the process of petrification will set in, and that'll be that. Okay, that is a plan. Just go deal with them. What have you got to lose? That's what they said to Custer. Just go deal with them. What have you got to lose? That's what they said to Custer. I'll be right back. You dare to disobey it! So, is your client prepared to make a statement? He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... At least give it a shot. Father? Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like Let's to be young. You, you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions so great and so way. powerful Scratched that they've got a life of their own. You. And it's all you can do to hang on for dear life while they gallop on where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? Emmett? Care to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna? I don't know. I think you two are on the verge of a breakthrough. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong personality? Lord save us from strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice, wimpy milk toast? Yeah, well, that's no picnic either. The important thing is, fathers can change. Says you. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. <sighs> Please, y you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. <laughs> A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. Emmett's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kinda... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake. Those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Sure. Uh, sure it will. You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it there are no more mistakes. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language with only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me! And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... So your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Emmett, I really think he means it this time. He won't listen to me. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. 
He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but... What's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say... If any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Pop! You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator... Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his Electrokinetic Levitator! <laughs> <laughs> 